My name is Tiffany and I have two little ones. Um, Ariana is six and I have the most experience with her being a star seed. So I have a few stories as far as like when we first realized that. Um, the most memorable being when she was almost three, we had a birthday party for her great grandmother um, who was turning 99. And so we all went out to dinner and her grandmother, great grandmother ended up choking. And um, Ariana's dad ended up saving her. It was a pretty traumatic experience actually. <laughs> um, so she didn't know any difference, you know, she was too little, but um, on the way home, we stopped to get gas and kind of like cool down from the experience and sort of breathe for a moment. And um, as we were in the parking lot, my daughter was facing rear. So she was looking out the back windshield and there was um, nothing behind us. It was darkness. It was like 10 o'clock at night. And all of a sudden she goes, mommy, there's a man behind us. And I kind of looked around and was like, okay. And I locked the door, <laughs> said, I don't see anyone. And, um, she, I said, is he nice? Cause I kind of knew about spirits by then and sort of had an understanding of what she might be seeing. And, um, she said, yeah, he's nice. I said, okay. Um, what's he look like? And she said, well, he's, he's on a horse. I'm like, okay. And then a couple minutes passed by and she goes, well, he's by you now. And I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> um, and then a little longer went by and she said, um, he's, I forget how it was phrased, but she said something along the lines of she, that he was in a Jeep which is not a term she knew at the time. And I said, well, who is it? Do you know who he is? And she said, well, it's Gigi's brother. And also something she wouldn't have any reference to or understanding of at not even three. So not someone we had spoken of or anything like that. Um, and that definitely freaked me out, <laughs> but I treated it very calmly and then the next day we were actually seeing that family again. So we spoke with Ariana's grandmother and um, told her what happened. And we said that Ariana said it was Gigi's brother. And uh, it was interesting because she told us that they had just found out that Gigi's only brother had passed away from, he was young and he had passed away from being kicked by a horse and they didn't know that until like the week prior so it kind of all came together and it was a super interesting experience for us and we're like wow okay and then the jeep part was interesting because as we were at this gas station his parents would have been sorry um ariana's grandparents would have been driving passed on the highway which is what Ariana would have she was facing the highway and um, they drive a jeep and they had Gigi her great grandma in the jeep with them so my understanding of what all of that was was that her I think Gigi's brother came because she was pretty much on her deathbed <laughs> at this event um, I think Gigi's brother came to maybe welcome her to the other side or something. And because we were so closely involved in saving her that, I don't know, my daughter saw him or saw that around them. So that was a really cool experience. And that was our first like, wow, okay, she can see things. <laughs> um, and then the next, that sort of like, prompted more things to happen after that. So then she started to talk about um, a black man in her room at night 
and I kind of just supported her with what I taught her was to say, I am the light, Jesus protect me. Um, I think I said like, go away, I am the light, Jesus protect me. And that's what I taught her to say when he would come in her room. And then I saw Laura's interview on Journey to Truth and she spoke about her child seeing shadow men. So um, all I can come up with is that we had a similar experience as that. Um, so that was interesting to navigate. And what else? Um, she's told me all sorts of different things about before she came to came to Earth with us. So um, we talk about how I, children pick us and come down. And um, she says that she didn't want this planet. She wanted an orange planet, <laughs> but somehow ended up on this planet. And she loves it here. She's thankful that she ended up here because it's beautiful. And um, she talks about that she had an alien friend while she was in the stars, we call it, um, named Eyeball. <laughs> because he's covered in eyeballs, I guess. Um, and I should have brought the picture up, but I forgot it. And he, so I had her re-explain this morning. Basically, she says that the, all the angels live on the sun, which I thought was a really interesting explanation because angels are full of light and the sun is full of light and who knows. But um, and then eyeball is on a different planet that orbits that one and that he protects the angels. Um, and then, yeah, that he was there when she was choosing us. So that was a fun description of what she remembers from before she came down to earth. Um, I think that's mostly what I have for her. But we still talk about um, all of that and discuss. I let her talk to me about anything that she sees or, you know, I'm real careful not to shut it down or I make sure I support her if she needs it. And yeah, it's been an interesting journey to learn alongside her because I didn't always know any of this or how to handle most of it. <laughs> like the shadow men one was the biggest piece that was hard for me because I didn't know what to do to protect her. <laughs> so, um, and then with my son, we don't have a whole lot of experience with things for him. There was, I do think at one point he was, um, had, spiritual attacks of sorts because I had a dream, a very, very vivid dream um, of a demon, I'll say, floating above him while, um, and I walked in and screamed at him and said, you know, we are the light, protect us kind of thing. And he flew away. <laughs> And then about, and I never told anyone about this dream. Um, and then about a week later, his father had basically the exact same dream with, and described this demon down to the T exactly the same as I had. So, and he told me about it and I said, oh, um, I had the exact same dream. That's amazing. So I've done some protection on him as well, just because I don't know what that was either, but pretty bizarre. <laughs> but so far he doesn't say much as far as information for me. So <laughs> yeah, that's basically our story.